Hey, how's it going guys? This is Ken. In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 6 to iOS 5.1.1 without your SHSH blobs saved on your computer. This method only works on iPod Touch 4G, iPhone 4, and iPhone 3GS. Now, if you somehow don't have your SHSH blobs for 5.1.1 saved on your computer or you just forgot to do it or you just don't have it, um, you can follow my instructions in this video and I'm going to try to downgrade your device to iOS 5.1.1. So basically, Red Snow recently updated to 0.9.15 Beta 1 allows you to downgrade without your SHSH blobs saved on your computer. Um, so you have to make sure that you jailbroke your iOS 5.1.1 before, So, which means that when you were back in iOS 5.1.1, you had Cydia on it. So Cydia basically just automatically saved your SHSH blobs. So you have to make sure that you were jailbroken on iOS 5.1.1. So let's get started. Alright, you're going to have to download two things. The first you're going to have to download is this Red Snow, which is Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 1. I'll put all the download links in the description. The second thing you're going to have to download is the iOS 5.1.1 IPSW, which is right here. So I have it in my iOS folder here. And just download these two uh, files and open up Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 1 and click Extras and I'm just going to click this and click Even More oh make sure that your device is connected to your um, computer so now you're going to have to jailbreak on iOS 6 if you don't know how to jailbreak I made a tutorial so click on the annotation on the screen right now or the link in the description so watch that video and jailbreak tethered on iOS 6 using Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 1. So you just installed Cydia on iOS 6 and when you open up Cydia you're going to see on the top it says SHSH blobs saved and go back to Red Snow, click extras, even more, restore and select your IPSW and just select this one which is the one that you downloaded in the description, the iPod 4 or iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, 5.1.1 Restore IPSW. Open it and you're, now you're going to have to go into DFU mode. Um, I have already done this and I have successfully downgraded to iOS 6 so I don't have to do this anymore. So just click OK and go into DFU mode. And after that just click Next and go back to uh, extras again and click even more restore and now what you're gonna have to do is click remote all you have to do is click remote I can't click it because I already did it and it worked pretty well for me so just click remote or if you have your SHSH blobs on your computer you can just click local if you don't have it just click remote and let Red Snow find the SHSH blobs in your Cydia and it's gonna downgrade it for you so that's all you have to do just click remote and wait about five minutes and you're back in iOS 5.1.1 so this is pretty much my tutorial on how to downgrade if this worked for you please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter at KingFilmsHD. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.